2022 SLS Jacksonville champion. Welcome to Seattle, Washington in the great Pacific Northwest. From Angel of the Winds Arena, it's the second stop of the 2022 SLS Championship Tour. Today is the women's finals where eight of the best skateboarders in the world will be trying to lock in their spots to the Super Crown Finals coming up later this year in Brazil. Thanks everybody for joining us. I'm Paul Zitzer along with Alex White. Now Alex, let's get straight into it. Amazing day of skateboarding ahead. Who are you calling it to take it here today? I mean, my eyes are on Pamela Rosa, two-time SLS Super Crown champ. She's experienced at 23 years old in the field. She's hungry, and this course is huge. And when things are huge, Pamela rises to the occasion. I think she could be very tough to beat, but Raisa Liao, the 14-year-old phenom from Brazil, she has won three of the last four SLS stops, including Jacksonville just last month. When she's on, she's almost impossible to beat. The only question I have is, can one of these young Japanese skaters squeeze in there and take it from her? Oh, that's going to be a tall order because between Raisa and Pamela, they've won seven of the last SLS stops. That's heavy. All right, before we get into it, let's take a look at how this format works with the basics brought to you by Tech Deck. There are two sections to Street League, the line section, where each skater gets two 45 second line attempts and then followed by the single trick section. Every skater gets four trick attempts anywhere on the course. The top line score counts and the top two single best trick scores count. The bottom four skaters will be eliminated and the top four will advance to the super final. And now it is time to meet the skaters here in the final. First skater in, she just squeezed through prelims yesterday. Kate Oldenboving from the Netherlands. And the only skater from the USA here today in the final. Poe Pinson coming out of Jacksonville, Florida. Dutch national champion, Rose Zwetsloot. One of three Japanese skaters here in the final, Yumika Oda. Reigning Olympic champion, Momiji Nishia. Bronze medalist from Tokyo Olympics, Funa Nakayama from Japan. The two-time SLS Super Crown champion from Brazil, Pamela Rosa. And the 14-year-old also from Brazil coming off a win last month in Jacksonville, Raisa Liao. Those are the eight skaters in the final. We're going to send it down for a vibe check to Andrew Cannon. Thanks, Paul. I will tell you, honestly, the vibe down here is pretty intense. You can feel it. Nobody's talking. The skaters are just kind of getting ready. We talked about it a lot yesterday, but this course is very big. All the obstacles out there are no joke. When you take a look at the line score, our highest line yesterday was Momiji Nishia with a 6.0. I'm really excited to see what we've got. So I think that's going to kind of be our barometer for what we're going to see here in the finals. But the mood is definitely tense. Everyone's keeping to themselves, and I think we're going to see a serious competition today. Back to you. Thanks, Andrew. And now this course, we've talked about it, Alex. It's for the first time this year in SLS history, courses are no longer symmetrical so it's shaken up everything it's opened up a whole new world of possibilities i think it's worked for some of the skaters not so great for some others we'll see how it plays out 
Kate Oldenboving in for her first of two runs. Well, Kate kicking it off here. She's a really smart skater. So even though we're doing non, you know, not symmetrical courses anymore, kind of suits her skating. She can plug in those unique tricks like she's doing right now with that board slide, those one footers. The thing we saw in prelims with Kate was that she was kind of avoiding the big stuff, you know? She was kind of skating around it. So I want to see how she does in these runs, maybe pushing the pushing the issue, skating the bigger stuff this time. Mm -hmm. She's famous for being a technical skater. Yeah. You know, there's some skaters that are more tech, some are more gnar. Yeah, it's going to be really important to get that line score. She knows it. She's smart. Backside 360, Ollie on the bank, squeezing in that last trick in her first run. What do you think? Is it is it more difficult to be the first skater in? Yeah, I think there's more pressure when you're the first one up. Just, you know, the lights go off in the arena, the, you know, the spotlight's spinning, all the names are going. It's a lot of distraction to remember. Oh, yeah, wait, I got to skate right now. Yeah, <laughs> skating's hard enough without all that. <laughs> But, you know, Kate's no stranger to the finals. She made all the finals at all the stops in SLS in the last four stops. So she knows how to do it, how to get it done. Yeah, just being able to deal with the pressure and the nerves is so key. 3.0, run number one. See Kate talking to Candy Jacobs, also from the Netherlands, not skating here this weekend. But next in, brand new to SLS this year. She finished sixth last month in Jacksonville in her first ever SLS. It's Poe Pinson. There we go, Poe. That was giving her trouble at the start of her run during the prelims. Starting off solid with that kick flip in. Slow and steady. Poe's got a really good attitude about Straightly. She's kind of here and she's willing to put it on the line, willing to learn. And famous yeah. for being more of a street skater in the streets versus a contest skater, right? Totally. When she, cool. saw, when she walked in and she saw that rail, when she first seen, she's like, I want to grind that just because it looks super fun, not because it's going to get me points. And the bank up to that flat bar is steep, by the way. It is not something that's just easy to skate. Huge! She goes! Gets back board for Poe. Now it's great. She worked in her line. Can she finish? Nice little 360. Does. Yeah, that was great run from Poe. She got to feel good after getting a good, solid one under her belt there. Yeah, she really came out swinging, not holding anything back and making it work. Here's where she kicked it off. A super difficult and kind of dangerous move to start with a pop shove at 50-50, then moving right onto that kick flip into the bank. Here's that 50-50 up on the rail, snagging it out. I'm sure there's a couple spots in Seattle that look just like that. She can go hit after the contest. And here's that big board slide that she finished off with. She did that in her best trick section yesterday and now brought it into the run today. There you go, 5.5. That is a massive score to start things off. Good, solid. Take a look. Rose Wetzlow has made five straight SLS event finals in a row. That's carry you my fun fact. And she does it like that. Rose never shies away from the big obstacles, kicking off her campaign here with a back 50 down the big hubba, following up with a back 5-0 on the bump to ledge. Yeah, and you can see straight out the gate how her style differs from the first two skaters. It's a little less technical. Yeah. Uh, she hasn't flipped her board yet, but she's using the whole course and charging. You know, Rose's specialty is big, scary stuff. Big, scary grinds, big, scary gaps. And this uh, this course offers a lot of that, so <laughs> she should be right at home. And it's interesting how much trouble that little ledge is, has been giving people all weekend long, the sandwich ledge. Yeah, the ledge, the width of a sandwich. Oh, oh. Rose trying to step it up there at the end of her run. She started strong and then kind of fell apart a little bit at the end with those two falls, but a great start to the run. If she can clean it up in her second run, it's going to be a big score. Yes. And that that hubba right there is steep. It's long. That's a solid 12-stair hubba. It's higher than it looks on camera right here. So 2.1. 2.1. Every obstacle out here is bigger than it looks on <laughs> camera. <laughs> Uh, objects in uh, lens are bigger than they appear. Objects on screen are bigger than they appear. <laughs> Yumika Oda from Japan in for her first run. Backflip, 5-0. Yumika, another SLS rookie.
Yorkie. This is her second SLS event ever. In the first SLS debut in Jacksonville, she got the highest score of all time, a 9.4 for the women. And she finished in second place there. Yeah. Just one spot out from a win. Look at just so casual yeah. going for that front 50, putting it down like nothing. Yumika, only 15 years old, part of this new generation, super talented Japanese skaters. And, and I think for the Japanese skaters, it even goes beyond the talent. They're just so good at dealing with the contest environment. Yes, that was a nice way to end it with that front block. Yeah. yeah, just what you said, Paul, they have each other to lean on, too. There's a whole crop of them that are all teenagers. They're all traveling the world together. They're all skating these contests together. And their consistency is yeah. almost unmatched. Nice backside lip slide there on the bump to flat bar. She follows it up. Locked in, front side 5-0, popping out a little early into that bank. Adds yeah, I like that flavor. approach, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's that big hubba, just a nice 50-50, solid. You know, something to note, if you skate something in your run, you cannot go back and do that trick again in the best trick. You have to do something different, or you'll get a zero. If, let's say she went back in 50 50 again later on in the best trick section, she would get a zero for it. So they also have to keep notes on what they're doing. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> it forces some creativity and for skaters to really up their game, and I, I, I support it. It's been a, a great change. All right, Olympic gold medalist, Momiji Nishia from Japan. Yeah, Miss Smooth, Momiji Nishia, she is just so confident, so natural, so stylish. She's like one of those skaters, Paul, that looks like she knows she's gonna land it before she pops her tail into the trick. It's like 5-0. Sorry, uh, I called the wrong trick, but I was thinking she's got it so solid. She's even up in where she was yeah, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. She skated so great. She had a, a, a six in the run section yesterday. So Sal far right Rusesky? now, yeah, we she's have a 5-5 <laughs> five five is the highest score. No, she's pulled together a really nice line here. Oh. Mm. Okay, so a fall there at the end for Momiji. A great run up until that point. Yeah, here's that frontside Smith grind dipped. Perfect. Here's that Susky grind. And you know, props for the choice of trick there. Yeah, Momiji, it seems like the last year she really has found the areas where she can improve, do something a little bit different, uh, set herself apart from the crowd. She knows how to skate contests really well. Obviously, gold medalist. <laughs> right. 5.1. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's good enough for third place for now. But comfortably within striking distance. And she's got another run. Funa Nakayama, this is her fifth SLS final. Starting it off with a 50-50 down the hubba. Moving to little grab. She was doing heel flips in practice, so maybe she just didn't have the timing down, so decided to just do a little grab there. Ollie the Gap. Here's Here that go. sandwich ledge. Crooks. Crooks. Funa is the Crooks queen, front side and back side. Front Crooks. That's what you're talking about. Back 50. Oh, lost it there. You know, her first run, Paul, looks like she's a little off. Even though she's landing stuff, because Funa's so good. Time for one last trick. Front side, feeble grind at the buzzer. Yeah. Good finish for Funa. Yeah, she got one fall in there. Uh, Funa, Funa has a better line in her. I think she knows it too. She's just mm -hmm. working it out though. But starting it off with this big 50-50, again, this hubba is bigger and larger than it looks on camera. Yeah, that's a straight up 12 stair. Massive steel hubba. There's that front side feeble grind that ended her run. So a 4.0 is Funa's first run score. The judges are doing a good job of keeping these scores in line to start it off. I think the placing as well. All right, three-time SLS winner, two-time Super Crown champ, Pamela Rosa. I like to see, I like to just notice the difference in styles. Look at that yes. push coming <laughs> in, arms flying overhead, full speed. 
So what's interesting, Paul, is we're seeing her try the lip slide, which was a best trick yesterday for her to start off her run. Right, so and as you mentioned, more. she can't go back and do that no. in best tricks. So then what's yeah. the next trick? She's got something else up her sleeve for us. Oh, Ooh. that was a bad slam. Pamela is so tough. Wow, that could have been so much worse. You know, Pamela's mom is in the crowd, and I'm sure she took a, a deep breath right there, but she's used to seeing her daughter recover really well from this kind of stuff. She's tough. She's like, I'm fine. She's calling it. Shake it off. Go to her manager. But, you know, being you know, one of the oldest skaters in this field right now, she can recover really quick. She has tons of experience with this. Absolutely. And yesterday, she had the highest scored trick. All right, Raisa Liao from Brazil, silver medalist. She's in for her first of two. Start off with a front blunt, then going to that nose grind, which is such a cool trick to do on that out ledge. You know, like a skate park is her canvas, and she can just paint whatever picture she wants over the whole thing. She's got that kind of equipment, that kind of tricks at her disposal. Yeah, that's the thing. She doesn't rely on just a handful. She can just dig into the bag and pull something out. Back 5-0. She has a lot of winning moves. And the style is just unmatched. She floats yeah. so light on her feet. From board. Got about five seconds. Does she have time for one more thing? What she got for us here on the Big Hubba. Oh. <laughs> She was cutting that very <laughs> close. I'm not even going to call it whether that was popped before or after the buzzer, but that run, she made it look really easy. Effortless. Looked like she was having fun. Let's take a look at a visible replay. Now here's how she started off. Front blunt, kick things off on a square rail, which is really difficult because it kind of wants to push you over to the other side of the rail and then follow it up with that nose grind. That little two-piece combo to kick off her campaign, really solid. Here's that backside Smith grind on that, oh, the backside 5-0 right there. And and to hit that big hubba, big hubba <laughs> multiple times is just so impressive. Yeah, here's, here's the backside Smith grind. Textbook, dip. Uh, Visible's been delivering the replays all weekend long. Beautifully executed skateboarding. Raisa Liao, your new leader, 6.5, a full point ahead of Poe Pinson. Well deserved. You know, she got around the course a lot. She hit every obstacle. She hit the big hubba twice. Take a look at the Smirnoff Ice Smash Road to the Super Crown. The top four skaters in points after Jacksonville are in yellow on the left of your screen. Raisa Liao, Yumika Oda, Pamela Rosa, and Momiji Nishia. Everybody's going to try to finish this season in one of those four spots to lock in a spot at the Super Crown final in Rio de Janeiro. We want to remind you that the Super Crown is heading back to Brazil to Arena Carioca 1 at Olympic Park in Rio. We can't wait to see what goes down. The energy is always so electric in Brazil and with some of our best fans in the world. Tickets go on sale September 5th, so mark your calendars. This will sell out. You can register for the exclusive Super Crown pre-sale now by going on the SLS website, streetleague.com slash supercrown. All right, women's final. We'll be back with the second runs. Raisa Liel up on top when we return. Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by Visible Mobile, single line, unlimited wireless, powered by Verizon. By Ashok, a modern performance energy drink created for today's active generation. By Karayuma, ethics meet performance. And by Tech Deck. Start small, go big.
Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by Visible Mobile, single line, unlimited wireless, powered by Verizon. By Ashok, a modern performance energy drink created for today's active generation. By Karayuma, ethics meet performance. And by Tech Deck, start small, go big. We're back in Seattle, Washington. This is the SLS Championship Tour presented by Visible. It's been uh, an amazing weekend of skateboarding so far. Deshaun Jordan there on your screen will be skating later in the men's final. He's the first place qualifier. That's going to be on ESPN Plus. We are in the women's final. And if you want to skate this course and you're not pro or in Seattle, you can do it. You can download this course for free this weekend only on True Skate. True control, true skill, true skate, free to download this weekend. There's a look at this course, designed and built in just a few days by California Skate Parks. Skaters, skaters are loving it. It's not easy though, big obstacles out there. Anything you see in the big section is a big deal. Kate Oldenboving back in for her second of two lines. Nice, so stepping it up in line number two, doing a half cab nose slide in, then that one footer into the gap. Half cab one footer, that's such a cool trick that Kate has. Forward sliding it in. Looking a little bit more confident. There you go. Yeah. Forward slide shoves. Little big, oh, the big spin on the quarter pipe got her, which is a little unfortunate because that was just an in-between trick. Let's see if she's got that front side three. Oh, no. Oh. She was off to such a good start. A little bit of a meltdown there that yeah. at the end of that run. <laughs> uh, her first run line score was a three. She was well on her way to improving on that, but now not so much. Oh, here's that replay. I love this board slide shove. Yeah, she's the only one out there doing board slide shoves like this. Half cab, no slide, big spins. It's she's one got... of those tricks that's so easy to fall. The yeah. tail can come around and hit the hit the rail and done. It's like not something you normally see in a contest. Somebody having on lock. Mm -hmm. 2.6. So <laughs> her face she's, is so funny. she's not taking it too hard she's at least. Like, oh boy. She's got work to do. And the single tricks coming up. Hope Hinson. She's in second place. First run score, 5.5. All right, Poe, run number two. Shove it, 50-50. Kick flipping it in. Oh, got a little <laughs> rocket. <laughs> I love Poe's expressions. Resetting it up. She's got that crooks. Coming in here. Going back for that 50-50. Go a little bit longer. She's like, I'm going to grab it. No. Yeah. Maybe later. Well, Nicely done. She's got great done. balance on round rails. Okay, she's looking at that big bump to rail again on the far side of the course. What you got here, Paul? Uh, backboard. Bolt sticks it. Time for one more right here. Hard oh, flip nice. at the buzzer. OK, to finish like that. She's going to get a nice score. That was a really good way of leveling up from line one to line two for Poe. Both lines stomped, landed everything. You know, and I like that even after that big gap to backboard there at the end, she had one second to do one last trick, and she went tech <laughs> like that <laughs> double grab. The fake attempt. out grab. <laughs> yeah. So here's that gap backboard and that rail is massive it's super high and once you get on it you got to deal with a lot of rail and then to finish it with the hard flip extra credit there at the end Pope Pinson she's psyched 6.0 yeah <laughs> let's go Pope all right we have uh Highest percentage landed trick consistency. Rose is in second behind Pamela. She's got 80% of tricks landed. That is, that is a high consistency rate. 
Yeah, I'm not surprised by that stat. And that 50-50, like, alling into the bank was a really good way to change up her run, following up with that back 5-0. His Rose lip slide, looking sharp, board slide. And I think it also speaks to how good Rose is at strategy. She yeah. knows what she's good at, and she goes out and does it. You know, Rose is really athletic. I think she knows how to play. She was almost a, a national field hockey player, too, at one point, too. So she's she doesn't mind putting in the work to be consistent, to be really good in these kind of high-pressure situations. Oh, building up speed. Yeah. Oh, oh, so oh. close. You see, she had to spend a lot of time on that rail. Yeah. It's a kind of been dubbed the go for broke rail. And it, that's where you're going to get points. Yeah. You know, but hey, at least if she doesn't land it in her run, she can do it. She can save it for the best trick and maybe get some points that way. So not a loss. But this was this run was going really well for her. Use of the whole course. Nice variety. Yeah, she did a lot, but only worth 2.7 in the eyes of the judges. So she's going to look to the single trick attempts. Yumika Oda. Run two. Back flip for Yumika. Front side 5-0 in. The 15-year-old from Nagoya has really become a favorite for SLS in her short time here. There's that kick flip. She has the highest score in SLS history from last month in Jacksonville with a 9.4. Back 5-0 with authority. Oh, wow. You know, I heard her on the sideline at Jacksonville, her and Poe talking, and Poe's like, I'm nervous, are you? And then Yumika's like, me too, I'm nervous. But they don't look very nervous anymore. No, they deal with it so well. Yeah, for being rookies at this. Front blunt. Oh, God. This wheel bite got her. He looks really tough on a square rail, this front blunt. The board just wants to lay over. Here's that backside 5-0. Locked in perfectly. Waiting on that score. It's not going to beat her first line, 5.3, so she's going to stick with that. Yeah, she's got a 5.3 on her belt. I would say right now how it's standing, that's a good run score to be sitting with. All right, we are halfway through runs, second runs here in the women's final. We'll be back and see more right after this from Seattle.
Welcome back to stop number two here in Seattle, Washington. And there you see a shot of our A-Shock recovery zone. Raisa Liel and all our athletes able to get worked on before, during, and after the event, allowing them to perform at the highest and maximum levels. And we saw a great example of that last month back in Jacksonville. It's the women's final. This is the G-Shock time capsule. Jacksonville women's final. Tour stop number one. Oh, it feels like it was just yesterday. That was a really big bump to bar there. Rose stepped up to it with that frontside Smith grind. Look at that eye of the tiger right there. Gap to Crooks, really interesting course. They had this big rail in the center. Poe, this is when Pope came onto the scene with that big Smith. The women are really laying it down on this course. It was the first time they skated a course like this. It was really challenging, but they rose to the occasion. There's Pamela had this big gap to lip slide. Always just going for it, laying it on the line, especially on that kick rail. And here's the progression. We saw Yumiko to land that kick flip front board. For the 9.4. Yep. Raisa kick flip back Smith, another one of the highest scores in SLS history right there. And then Yumiko oh, sealed the deal. Yeah. Here's she your 9.4. Kick flip front board was like one of the highest scores, and then a kick flip front feeble, the highest the score. Highest. <laughs> and here's where Raisa clinched the deal. Heel flip front board. Snagged that first place from Yumika in the very last attempt for best trick at SLS Jacksonville stop. It was a roller coaster ride, Paul. Yeah, we're going to see if. Raisa Leal can do it again. Or maybe Poe Pinson, USA, could she step up and take her first win? Or one of these Japanese skaters. They've had so much success, but no wins. So Mamiji back in it, stepping it up with a 5-0 to start off this time. 50-15 in. Big front side ollie on the quarter pipe. I like the fact that she really works the course, uses the whole thing, including the quarter oh. pipe. We're hardly seeing anybody do any tricks on the quarter pipe. Yeah. I think she enjoys that front side ollie. And she got hung up on that silly sandwich bar <laughs> ledge rail thing. As everyone does here. Yeah. Front side Smith, nice recovery. A little ollie. She's still got about 10 seconds left on the course to pull something else off. Susky grind. Ollie in. Five more seconds. Let's see if she's got one more trick for us. Front salad. salad. I, I think that, that run felt like it ended a little flat after the fall. Yeah, you can see her body language and the disappointment when the crooks didn't work out for her. But this is how she kicked it off, that 5-0 to start it. Then moving straight into that 50-50 into the ramp, and then that big, beautiful frontside ollie. And then she's looks the most comfortable when she's on that 12 stair hubba. She didn't even need to bend to impact that 12 stair hubba frontside Smith. It's amazing. 4.4. She's going to stick with her first line score, 5.1, which has her in fourth for now. Um, skaters trying to make that top four so they move on to the super final where they get those two additional best trick attempts at the end. A lot of skating still to come here. Funanakayama, her second run, straight into the front 5 0. There, that was what she was trying for, but that's a really compact zone to land into that hubba and then to throw a heel flip. Okay, resetting Funa. Here's that tricky ledge rail sandwich thing. She made the crooks, now she's coming back around. What she got here for the smaller hubba. Front crooks. Back 50, stomped it. That's where she fell off in her first run. All 10 right, more seconds. Yeah. want to finish strong here. Back 5-0. Let's see. Oh, she's running out of time. Front feet. Now, Funa had two falls, one in her first run, one in her second run. Harder tricks in the second run. Here's how she kicked it off here. It's a big frontside 5-0, a lot of clearance. See how her front truck wobbles like that? Yes. She rides her front truck so loose to lock into tricks like this, the frontside crooks. And she is the best in the world at the front crook. Maybe besides Jamie Foy. 
But maybe they're cut from the same cloth. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, you just cannot do it better. Yeah, she's got such good style on those. 3.4. So I think the judges like that first run better. So she's going to stay in fifth. Moving along to the two-time SLS Super Crown champ in 2019 and 21, Pamela Rosa. She's down in eighth. She can do much more. There she goes. Okay, the lip slide is what got her in the first run. She recovered nicely, landed it. Kick flipping it up. Yes, hang it on. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. You know, Pamela just will fight tooth and nail to make sure she rolls away from everything. There's that crux. She slammed so hard on that in the first one. This was like the redemption run for Pamela. Back 5-0. And you know, she's always been a great friend of Kelvin Hoffler, and they skate together a lot. And they're yeah. very similar in their ability to, to fall and then come back yeah. and not let it shake them. You know, it's a good life lesson, too. You can't let the mishaps, the mistakes, the failures stop you. That was an incredible run from Pamela Rosa. Yeah. You know, she just steps up to the hardest, biggest obstacles on the course here at SLS. Like that. First trick in, gap out, front side, lip slide. Not everybody can even get onto that rail to so to do a lip slide on it. Fighting that kick flip. Yeah. Hey, it's a contest make, that's for sure. Yeah. Far better than a fall. And on the first go, she slammed super hard on those crooks, but this time she came back, locked in perfectly, and stomped it. Back 50-50. Pamela just does laps around the course. She's going to be looking at a big score and a huge improvement over the .7 she got on her first run. 6.4 puts her right up there, a tenth of a point below Raisa Leal heading into the single trick section. So basically a dead heat there. <laughs> Leal, <laughs> one. Okay, you tell me when to go. <laughs> Triple set. It was just like child. Okay, I'll step it up. How's this? Authority for Raisa. Lip slide. Yeah, you know, she picked a good trick for that tricky obstacle. Lip slides are pretty safe. Gets her onto this side of the course. What you got for the big hubba? Backside Smith grind again. Done to perfection. Raisa doing it again here in her second run. 50. Time okay. for one more. What does she do? Five. Three. Two. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Kickflip something. Kickflip back Smith, maybe? I'm not sure if it's going to work against her or for her right there. Couldn't really see when the buzzer went off. Take another look via this visible replay. Kickflip front board to fire things off. And it goes straight into this backside 180 down the triple set. The control. Here's that backside Smith grind. Look how she sets up her foot going into it. She was just almost at her front bolts. Point <laughs> 5.9. <laughs> It's got to feel good to be out there having fun versus, like, you, you can see she's not stressed and yeah. worried. She's loose and in control of her skating. Yeah, I kind of wonder if the, the, the judges counted that um, that last fall against her because the score was so much lower and it was a, it was a, definitely a ramped up run, so. Let's check in with Andrew. Thanks, Paul. So after those two lines right there, we've got Pamela with a 6.4, Raisa with a 6.5. The big thing that I'm so excited about is we saw both of them do single tricks from yesterday and throw those into their line. Pamela started things off with that gap to lip slide, which was her highest scored single yesterday. And then we saw Raisa do the backside smith. So what that means is we're going to see something completely new from them once we get into the singles here in the finals. I'm excited about it. Things are getting pretty wild out there. I can't wait to see what's to come. Back to you. Thank you, Andrew. 
Raisa Liao up on top. Can she make it two in a row? We'll find out. Single trick section coming up when we return here from Seattle. Welcome back. It's the women's finals of the 2022 SLS Championship Tour from Seattle. I got some Raisa fans in the house. Let's take a look back at Raisa Leal, 6.5. Our highest score in the line section brought to you by Skater XL. And she made it look too easy, Alex. As she always does. Child's play? I mean, she's a child, she's 14, <laughs> so she does make it look like a walk in the park. Fun and games. Look at that back Smith, just done to perfection. There's a little bit of relief there, but you know, Raisa always looks like she's having so much fun. Here is your reshuffled start list going into the single trick section. Rose Zwetslope, currently in eighth place, will be the first skater in, followed by Kate Oldenboving, Funa Nakayama, Momiji Nishia, Yumika Oda, Pope Pinson, Pamela Rosa, and Raisa Liao. Let's do a refresh on the format here with the basics brought to you by Tech Deck. There are two sections of Street League, the line section where two 45 second line attempts per skater and the single trick section each skater gets four single trick attempts top line score and the top two single trick scores count and the bottom four skaters will be eliminated 
the top four advance, where they'll be given two more single trick attempts to improve their score. That's the super final. So everybody's trying to make that top four cut right now. Yeah, things get really interesting right now as we head into this best trick. This is really where it all comes down to. Trying to make it into that super final for that reshuffle. Yeah, and uh, the top five skaters ending with Momiji right now are in a, in a relatively good spot to advance, but Rose has her work cut out with that 2.7 in the line nice. section, but a huge start with that front side nose grind. That was awesome from Rose. That ledge is steep. The margin for error is huge. Look at this, front side nose grind, locking it in. Looks like a little bit of a tap on the way out. But I, man. I don't think that that's gonna count much against her because that is just a heavy move. Yeah. You know, it just depends on how much the judges are going to deduct for execution. I saw a little bit of a bonk, but still super gnarly from Rose. As we talked about, that is a 12-stair hubba. Legit 12-stair. It's, it's, it's not the highest, but it's very long. You got to lock in and hold it. She locked in perfect. 5.8. Yeah. So I do think that they deduct her a little bit for that bonk, because it should have been over a six. It's still pretty rad. Kate Oldenboving coming in for her first attempt. Because she's looking at that big bump to rail. Oh, oh no, she had it. It's just like. That was like already made, and then she just kind of gravity caught up with her. Yeah. So that happens. Funanakayama. Yeah, Puma warming up a little bit. Her highest scored trick yesterday was an eight. Oh, she didn't lock into the front crooks. She went to nose but saved it. She didn't get hurt. It's so rare for her not to make the front crook, no matter what, where she is or what she's doing. Yeah, no, that even surprised her. I remember watching clips of her when she was like a little kid, well, she's a little, but like 10 years old at a skate park and doing front crooks on like a 20 foot long flat bar. You know, she's got that trick for years. Momiji in. Big bump to rail. Lip slide. She like, knows. She's just like, yeah. I, those points are waiting for me over there. I'm going to go grab them. That gap to rail was scoring huge yesterday. I'm sure, it'll continue to do that today. No problem. Like it ain't no thing. Gotta get your back truck up and over the rail. Lock in. Yeah, execution was perfect. Score is in 7.6. And it, it is because when you look at that rail, it's massive. Yeah. To even get to it. All right, Yumika. She has the highest scored trick ever, that 9-4 nine, nine from Jacksonville. Kickflip front feeble. Crux. Nice choice for you, Mika. I also kind of heard a little scrape on the way in. It's super steep when that, when the, at the end of that hubba where it kicks you off. And I felt like with Rose, and I think maybe here with you, Mika, too, there's a little bit of a tap. Maybe not, actually, on the replay. But yeah, it kicks you right into the ground as you come down. Let's see, one more angle here. I love this slowed down version. And coming at it from the, the hard side. Yeah, the grind started to drift on her a little bit, turning into a backside nose grind, and she just snagged it and put all four down. 6.1. Good nice score. Solid score moves Yumika into second place. <laughs> Poe Pinson in next. She had a great. 6.0 score in the line section. See if she can keep it going here. All right, Poe picking up some speed. What she got for the big rail here? Feeble! Nice. <laughs> That's so gnarly to grind that rail. That's going to be a huge score. 
A 6.8 or better moves her into first place. And pretty much any score she gets is going to bump her into the top four. Yeah, so Mimiji got a 7.6 for that big gap to lip. I'm interested to see what the judges are going to think about a big gap to feeble grind here. That was great. Great lock in. Yeah, she did that perfect. Perfect execution from Poe. 7.2, okay. Yes, yeah, 7.2. Poe is the new leader. Pamela Rosa, yesterday, her highest scored trick was a 7.6. See her career best, 8.1. So more than capable of getting the score she needs here. She's going for the big kicker to rail two. Front spin! Pamela Rosa, I have not seen her try that in practice. Didn't try it in the prelims. That's got to feel real good. Something on a grip tape. <laughs> Take a look. Again, the visible replay. Gap. Front Smith. Perfect. Sick angles brought to you by visible all weekend long bolts i just love pamela's like aggressive style she like wants this grind she wants it she wills it into existence and that's just kind of the way she skates even if it, i mean easy tricks for her she's still going to charge and put everything she has into them 7.8 yeah, highest single scoring trick of today so far. New leader. She looks like she got some gum on her grip tape. People, please don't chew gum up on the deck. <laughs> Risa, a 7.8 or better, moves her back into the lead. She's also aiming up the big gap Darrell. What she got here? Back flip. Oh, kicks oh. it away. And we already know that's that is going to be a huge score. Yeah, huge score. If and when she makes it. And she landed it in prelims. She got an 8.1 yeah. yesterday for the gap back lip. So everybody but Liao landed their trick. Oh, and then and, uh, Funa too. So Funa and Liao didn't get their first trick. Back to the top of the order. Rose, a 5.8 moves her into the lead. But that's not saying that much because she would be the first skater with three scores on the Ooh, board. nice save, Rose. Mm. Oh. I think she yanked her shoulder a little bit. She's walking over to her trainer. Now Rose is super tough. Hope she's okay. So Kate has work to do. Line score 3.0. She needs big scores here. She needs two big scores, and she only has three attempts to get them. Okay, looks like she's pushing for the big bump to bar too. What she got here? Gets that board we go. slide. Score on the board. That's gonna feel so. Yeah, look at her. Oh, <laughs> relief. <laughs> Here's that replay, big ollie out. Look, at she gets on that rail right at the top. Backboard yep. all the way down. No margin for error here. She made sure this time to hold on to it. Landed perfectly bolts. 5.7, that's, that's a healthy score. And once again, it's because it's the biggest most difficult obstacle on the course. In next, Funa Nakayama. Okay, Funa had a little mishap on her first try on the front crooks. I saw her on speakerphone in between. She's talking to somebody back home, maybe. There she goes, front crooks. Funa Nakayama never disappoints on that trick. It's a big, steep down hubba. And then she got a backside heel flip just for fun. Here's that replay. Long and steep and locked in. With the focus there. 
You better be focused heading towards that 12er. Perfect. So she got an eight for that yesterday, eight for it today. She moves into the top four, which is where you're going to want to be to make that super final and get two additional tries. Momiji Nishia on deck. All right, Momiji. Back smith. And now Momiji had to bend her knees. It was like a little, I mean, that's the most, uh, you know, change I've ever seen from her landing a trick. So she's relieved to catch that one. Normally she doesn't even flinch when she lands. Just showing those full range of motion on those young knees. Backside smith grind, locking it in perfectly. Comes out. Just decides to give us a little squat. <laughs> <laughs> so this just in, Rose Zwetslot is out of the contest. She slammed earlier. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, 7.1 for Momiji. New leader, just like that. Yumika, second attempt. He's an 8-5 for first. What? Oh, can flip back side 50 50 grind. <laughs> Not expecting that. You know, Yumika Oda, we know she can do kickflip front boards. We know she got a kickflip front Phoebes. Kickflip back 50 on that steep 12 stair hub. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, where did that come from? When she was setting up, I couldn't even see what, what was going to happen. I was just like, just totally caught off ground. She oh. locked in perfectly, landed it perfectly. Her feet were a little suspect on the way down, but yeah. by the time she landed, she'd moved them back into place. Oh, yeah, it looks like that back truck slid around a little bit, but, man, she wrangled that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like the reaction. That's got to feel good. It's like an H Street video in yeah. 1988. <laughs> wow, that is going to be an absolutely massive score. So 8.5 will put her in first place. 8.4, just right there. Oh, we got a real contest on our hands, Paul. Okay, Poe, what she got for the big hubba, too. Backside 5-0, oh, slipped out and splatted a little bit. Resetting back up to Pamela Rosa. She only needs a 5-7 to move into the lead. And the reason Yumika Oda is in the lead, even though she didn't get that 5, that 8.5, she got the 8-4. She's tied for first, but the highest run score breaks the tie break, and she has the highest run score between her and Momiji. Whoa. Whoa! Gapping out to Crooks. And the thing with that gap out, Hubba, is how high it ends. It's basically shoulder height where you come off of it. Yeah, for me, it's two times overhead. <laughs> it's a very tall drop at the end of it. You can see it slammed her into the ground right there. Wasn't able to roll away. Risa. Needs a 7-8 for third. She's going to try that back lip again. Oh, that's Ooh. so unlikely for it to get away from her. So she had the great line score. Yeah. But that doesn't do you any good until you have two single trick scores on the board. And now she only has two tries left to make that happen. Uh, she's put herself in a in a kind of a sketchy spot here. Yeah, something that she's probably not used to. Not used to only having two tries left and needing to land two tricks. Yeah, but she's famous for being clutch. She, she is When clutch. she needs a trick, <laughs> she throws it down, but she has to do it twice right now. But first, let's send it down to Andrew Cannon. So far, this finals is incredible. But that 8.4 we just saw from Yumika Oda with the kickflip backside 50-50, that back truck not on, able to wrangle it back in and then ride away. The level of skateboarding that we're seeing is truly getting kicked up a notch. I'm really excited. We still have two more attempts left before we cut it down to our top four for the Super Final.
it's going to get nuts. Back to you. Thank you, Andrew. With y Yumika Oda in the lead and Momiji Nishia in second. Pamela Rose, the Brazilian Super Crown champ, is in third place. We'll be back in Seattle right after this. Street League Skateboarding is brought to you by Smirnoff Ice Smash. Full flavor unleashed. Please drink responsibly. By Skater XL, the most precise board control ever in a skateboarding game. Available now on PC and consoles. By G-Shock, the official watch of the SLS World Tour. By True Skate, true control, true skill, true skate. And by Seattle North Country, true Pacific Northwest. We're back. It's the SLS Championship Tour presented by Visible from Seattle, Washington. It's the women's final with two single trick attempts still to go. Can the Japanese skaters pull off the upset? Alex, Yumika Oda and Momiji Nishia up on top in those top two spots. Super Crown champ Pamela Rosa in third place, way down too. The, the top two have a commanding lead but things can change here in these final trick attempts. Kate Oldenboving from the Netherlands coming in 
for her third trick attempt here. Now this is what it all comes down to. Half cap no slide, 270 out. Now, this isn't on a big obstacle. It's a really technical trick. I'm wondering what the judges are going to think of this. We've, we've seen it before where the judges really respond to the huge obstacles. Yeah. Getting tech on the smaller obstacles is good, but it typically doesn't quite get it done. This is a great trick, though. Coming in fakey, half cab to nose slide, and then a 270 out. There's a lot going on, especially with this grippy concrete. Yeah, yeah, that's what Sean was saying yesterday. It's not really fully finished. It's hard to slide things around. But, you know, Kate only needs to get herself up into that top four spot at the end of this. You know, right. she doesn't need to win the contest right now. She just wants to get into that super final. So that 3.9 moves her into fifth place. Funa Nakayama now in sixth place. Needs a 7-9 to take the lead. Puma looking to the big hub up. Nose blunt attempt. This is a big, brutal course. We've already seen one rider get taken out by that hubba. Glad to see Funa walk away from that one. She's putting it all on the line, but it's going to come down to her last trick, and we're going to see if she goes back to that after getting served up. Momiji Nishia coming in next. She's in second place. It's like, wait, where's Momiji? Yeah, that's, that's Yumika. <laughs> Momiji, That's aha, she's there hiding over there Momiji. by the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> a 7.2 puts her in the lead. Okay, she's looking at that big bump to bar as well. A lot of score up for grabs there. Looking like a gap to front feeble. You know, something she can play around with a little bit, sitting in that number two or tied for number one spot, basically. She can work her way into that trick. Smart skating. I think she's in a she's in a pretty safe spot because she had the good line score and two solid best trick scores. Yumika. Interesting place for Yumika to be in. Frank kick put back 5-0. Takes a hard slam off of the hubba. Man, that hubba is just taking people out. I mean, you saw it. She didn't get into it, and she still had a long way to go to deal with the rest of that hubba. Taking a full hip check. Ugh. Damn, that was brutal. And hit her knee, too, I think. Poe Pinson. She is currently in that top four. It's tough to go after you just watch two people take slams. <laughs> All right, Poe aiming up the big hubba. Ooh, didn't get into the back 5-0. Look, she's in that top four with only two scores right now. So if she can make anything, it's going to go a long way towards her locking in the spot on her last try. OK, Pamela looks like she's just taking a look right now. She's going to size up that gap to ledge again. It's a big gap out. You know, Manny Santiago was saying, you've got to quiet the noise of all the obstacles. There's a lot of distractions there. There's a big grass gap on the left. There's like a lot going on here. I think Pamela's just trying to quiet her mind before she attempts it again. She only needs a 5.7 to move into the lead. She's going to want to keep that in mind. There she goes. Beautiful. Stops it. And she's always been such a smart contest skater, really strategic. She has a, a, a ton of tricks to choose from. And there's a perfect example. Visible replay, gap out, crooks. Perfect. Hey, look at that big ollie out. Got to get that front truck onto the obstacle. Lean that body forward and just commit off of the end. And she, I mean, just barely got there because that, that's a far gap out to a tall hubba that ends insanely high. Yeah, and I was hearing some of the skaters say there's not a ton of runway at that approach for that hubba and for that gap. gap New hubba. leader. Pamela Rosa, 6.5. So with that run score and now two solid single trick scores, she's going to be a lock to make it to the super final. Raisa Liel, it's come down to this. She has to make this trick. All right, what she got? Board slide, OK. Ah, smart. Smart skateboarding. OK, she knows what's going on here. The strategy is coming into effect because 
Yeah, she just wants to get herself up into that super final position, get up into the four spot. Yeah, and Poe Pinson is in fourth right now, but she only has one one single trick score. Yeah. So now they're... Yeah, Kate got a 5.7. Kate got a 5.7 for doing the gap to board slide, so she knows, okay, about a 5.7, maybe a 6, I can get in there. And with Raisa's strong line score, just two good scores in single trick is going to go a long way. Now she's in sixth, okay. and when she has her last try, she's not going to need a, a huge score to get into that top four. You are watching the women's finals here from Seattle. It's the SLS Championship Tour. We're back to the top of the order. Final tricks here. Oh, my God. It's a heavy final, Paul. Okay, Kate was trying to nose like big spin, kind of lost it at the end there. And she is not going to be moving on to the super final. But a great showing once again from Kate. Having a good time. Funanakayama, she's in seventh place. An 8.8 .8 gets her first, but she only needs a 1-3 to move into that. Wow! Four and she no. doesn't do it. I was so surprised that she went for the nose blunt because she didn't need a big score, Paul. She just needed to move into that top four spot, but she went all out. You're so right. She could have just 50 50 down that hubba. I know. Surprise. What okay. happened here, Alex? I mean, she had it perfect. She slid it perfect. She was even over, just maybe back on, you know, on her heels a little bit, and then it just got away from her. You see the disappointment in her face, too, as it got away from her. Able to shake this one off though, Funa. Wow, I was really surprised about that, Paul. All right, Momiji Nishia. She's just trying to guarantee her spot in the super final. Wow, Momiji Nishia. That's gonna go to front people. Okay, that's a super hard trick. You know, the hang up factor would be huge. If your kingpin sinks into that rail, then you're stuck, but she pulled it off beautifully. She's got front feeds on lock. And 8.1 will move her into first. There you go. Here's that big ollie up. Point that front toe. Stick that back truck onto the rail. To let it ride. Yeah. Mm. Here you go. I love this angle. Slow it down. Watch that back truck lock in. That front toe pointed out. Textbook front feeble. Momiji's got the coolest style. God. <laughs> and, and even celebrating a little bit. What's that score going to be? 8.3. She does it. New leader. We could have, we could have a new winner here. I know today. I had the same thought. I was like, okay, we were just talking about this in the show opener about yeah. if, if yeah, the yeah. Japanese will finally win an SLS, and maybe, maybe. Yumika's in a good spot, too. She didn't have such a strong run score. Okay, this is interesting. She's starting over on this side of the course here, not aiming up for the big things. Oh, kick, oh. okay, right, Nolly flip out, a little Shane O'Neill taste. Just warming up for that super final. But I like her approach here, thinking, you know, I don't need to go get hurt or break myself off on the big hubba. I could try something different. I'm in the super final pretty much, pretty much guaranteed. Now, Poe needs just any score is going to do her a world of good. A 7.9 puts her in the There's lead. There's that back Whoa. five oh. Beautiful. So she that's, just need, yeah, she needed that score. Just a score. So any score is going to boost her total way up. Take a look. Yeah, it took her three tries to get this down. Great style on that back 5-0. Locking in perfectly. Big Meow logo. Shout out Lisa Whitaker. Poe Pinson. So, there's two skaters left. Pamela Rosa is already in the top four, and then Raisa Leal is going to be trying to get there. So Poe gets the 5.4. That just leaves her in fourth, which is the bubble spot yep. for the super final. So 
she's going to be paying a lot of attention to what Rice Aaliyah does. What Pamela does right here does not matter. She's a lock. I mean, it all counts. Trying to add points. Yes! She puts down the backside Smith. A 6.9 moves her into the lead over Momiji as we move towards the Super her Finals. Props. Mm. Her mom's like, do a back Smith for me, honey. <laughs> Here she goes. You know, she does them so much like differently than Raisa. Like hers is a lot of power, a lot of force behind it. Kind of levitating yeah. a little bit. I think she may yeah. have tapped the rail, but she may not have. She wasn't like locked and dipped like yeah. Raisa, but still beautifully done. I doing it, it over the yeah. gap section, 7.2. Great score. You know, just the contrasting style between the two Brazilians right here that are neck and neck. It's really cool to watch them. So Poe Pinson on, on the bubble. Raisa Leal is the last skater who can bump her out. Coming off a win in Jacksonville, trying to advance to the super final. She needs a 6.5. Oh, the clutch kids, what she got for the big bump to bar. Gap, she gap, does she it. it. Done. Wow. Done. Poe knows it. Poe knows it. So Poe is going to get bumped. Yep. Raisa Leal is going to advance into this super final. The only question is what spot she's going to be in and how many points she'll have. <laughs> she's giving her a hug, too. Here's that replay. OK, this gave her a lot of trouble at the beginning of the best trick. And right here on the last attempt, she comes and just barely snags it. It was not a guarantee no. until she actually was riding away yeah, from that, that front, rail. Yeah, that front foot, she was just hanging on by her heel. I honestly thought that was a bail. I know, too, yeah. That right there looks yeah. like a bail. And, th and then the sportsmanship. Congrats to Poe Pinson hanging in there in her second ever SLS final. But right yeah. up in there. Risa, huge score. 8.1. Yeah. She's in third. And right up in the mix points wise, moving into the super final. Getting the congratulations from her mom. <laughs> okay, it's like I told you, you're the clutch queen. Of course you got in there. <laughs> Two more trick attempts for the top four skaters here moving on to the super final. Oh my gosh, that was an emotional final so far. <laughs> here's, here's our four. Pamela Rosa up on top. Momiji Nishia, Raisa Liao. Yumika Oda, it's Brazil versus Japan in the Super Final. We'll be back in Seattle, Women's Final, right after this.
We're back in Seattle, Washington. There's two Japanese skaters getting it done out here in the women's final. It's Japan versus Brazil. Raisa Liao, she's in third place coming into this super final. I love that Raisa was like beatboxing and then yeah. <laughs> Pamela in the slow-mo was like waxing with a popsicle. This is great. Very about, serious, but very fun. <laughs> how about Raisa getting it done in her last two attempts? Playing it so smart, but she's, she's just so good. I yeah. think she just does that to us, to keep us on the edge of our seats. She knows she can do it. It works. So super final means each skater gets two additional single trick attempts to increase their score. Here's the four skaters. Start list, Yumika Oda from Japan coming in first, followed by Raisa Liao, Brazil, Momiji Nishia, Japan, Pamela Rosa, two-time Super Crown champ, current leader. And it's already been a really amazing final just to get to the Super Final right now. These skaters have skated so well, like really gnarly tricks, really gnarly slams. They're going to get two more attempts. When we look at the, the overall scores right now, Raisa in third is set up very nicely for a big jump, though. Yeah. Because she didn't do her absolute best yet. So we'll see what happens. Yumika Oda, first in. She got that 9.4 in Jacksonville. Yeah, she's capable of huge scores. How's she gonna open up? Kick flip. Oh, going for that kick flip back 5-0. That was so sketchy. She was in such a dangerous spot. Walking away like it's no big thing, but she's really putting it all on the line. She wants it. And that's what you gotta do here. This is it. It comes down to the final two tricks. Okay, Ray, so, so what you got? She's gonna try to get rid of that 5-7. Big hub a back tail. Oh my gosh, Ooh. she's so close. If she makes that, <laughs> I think she gets the score she needs and she may be unbeatable. That's a huge wow. score, Paul. That's she backtails score. that. So steep, drives you into the ground, and she almost just had it. So look, uh, Momiji's in second, but she's trying to get rid of a 7 6. That's a big Ooh, score. Oh, Salad grinding the ledge. Run salad. That's an interesting trick. That really is. We haven't seen that. Uh, we don't know how it's going to score. What do you think? 7-6. Here we go. She did it textbook. Shout out to Eric Dresden, the inventor yeah. of the salad grind back in the 80s. And now we see it, Street League Final 2022. You know, it's a, it's a different trick. I don't see really anybody else doing salads and suskies like Momiji. The judges are going to have to pick this one apart a little bit. An 8.1 puts her in the lead. 6.0. 6 they're just not, they're they're recognizing that it's not the most difficult trick, even yeah. though it's a cool trick, and she did it really really well. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, making it more scalable towards a 5.0 rather than a front blunt, because you do have that truck to lock you in and guide you down the hubba versus like a front blunt, which you're sliding on a different surface. The 5.0 being very straightforward. I think that's a pretty good score. Look at Pamela Rosa right now. She, her, she's trying to drop a 7.2. She can do that easy. She's the current leader. She could increase her lead here and potentially get her fourth ever SLS win here in Seattle. Okay, she just whacks the nose of her board, if you notice that, and then her wheel well is there. What has she got for us? Okay, heading in hot. Oh, I think she's going for a gap to nose grind or nose blunt. Either way, that would be a huge score. Got one try left. She looks fired up, though. She's just like, okay, I'm alive. <laughs> I'll try it again. <laughs> final attempts here in Seattle. Women's final. Pamela Rosa up on top. 
Each skater gets one more try. Okay, Yumika, looks like she's sticking to her guns here. Kick flip. Oh, comes down hard. A valiant effort. Yeah. Props to Yumika for just going for it. Full commitment. Getting into a kickflip fandango down the hubba for a final Whew. attempt. Yumika's so sick. That was that was awesome. She really did go for it. Is Brazil gonna do it again? Pamela Rosa up on top. Raisa needs a 6.9 or better. Okay, 6.9 is not a huge score. Back tail. There she goes, right? Okay. I mean, that's got to be it. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. And it's going to come down to Pamela Rosa answering with that gap nose grind or nose blunt. Look at this. Look over the shoulder, let it slide, come out regular. She turned that full, almost past 90. Fully that locked in. Perfect. Mm. The, the execution couldn't have been better, in Tw my opinion. 12 stair back. Oh, 12 stair back Unbelievable. Yeah. So, needs a 6 9 for first. Question is, how high will that score go? They go high. 7.8. A 7.8 new leader, Raisa Liao from wow. Brazil. Okay, now Raisa's work is done. She has to sit back and watch, <laughs> which is maybe harder. I think she may still be in striking distance. Is she a... Momiji on deck needs a 9.1. Oh, 5-0 shove it attempt. I like that. That yeah. was full mixing it up, trying to shove it out of a 5-0 down a 12-stair hubba. Would have been a huge score. Doesn't get it. She is going to stay in third place. Comes down to this. Pamela Rosa, two-time Super Crown champ. Oh, Paul, I feel like I'm going to throw up. This is heavy. <laughs> Going against <laughs> fellow Brazilian Raisa Leal, who's in first place. Raisa going for a repeat back-to-back -back win. Pamela needs an 8.3 to take it home. God, this, this is course good. is so scary. It's like you have to face your fears. You have to do the biggest, gnarliest trick. Pamela's not afraid. It's just a matter of can she make this right here? Whew. She puts it all on the line every time she skates. This is nothing new. She is your 2022 champion here in Seattle. Stop two. Wow. Of the championship tour. Road to the Super Crown in Rio. She's going to go find Pamela right there. Good sportsmanship. What a great battle. Such a great back and forth in that final, Paul. That was so good. Japan versus Brazil. And then Raisa versus Pamela. And Raisa comes out on top again. She's just proving to be unbeatable. There she goes. There's her trophy. She's hugged a lot of those trophies now, Paul. It's an SLS tradition. Yeah, never gets old. What an accomplishment. Raisa Liao, your winner here in Seattle, will be back with an interview right after this.
Welcome back to the SLS Championship Tour Seattle, where we just wrapped an incredible women's final with Raisa Leal coming out on top. Brazil takes home the top two spots in Japan in third and fourth. Pope Pinson, great showing. Kay Oldenboving, the whole crew. What an amazing final here today. Rose Wetzloat taking a bad slam, unable to finish. We hope that for the best to her. But first, we're going to send it down to Andrew Cannon. That was by far one of the most incredible finals we have ever seen here in the women's competition. Congratulations, Raisa. How nervous were you on that last attempt right there? Oh, primeiramente, antes de responder, eu quero agradecer a Deus e aos meus pais e toda a minha família que esteve comigo. E eu estava um pouquinho nervosa, sim, mas minha mãe me passou confiança, toda a minha equipe passou confiança, então eu consegui acertar. Uh, she said, first of all, she wants to thank God and thank her family and thank her team that's with her. She was really nervous before the back tail, but she, she talked to her mom and her mom gave her the concert, like, you got it, and then she, she did it, I guess, yeah. That's amazing. It worked out just fine for you. And how excited are you for the Super Crown to be down in Brazil this year? Bom, estou muito ansiosa, não vejo a hora de chegar no Rio, poder dar o meu rolê junto com as minhas amigas e mostrar o que é skate de verdade, né? Que é, ser, que é se divertir e, enfim. She's like, I can't wait to be in Rio and, you know, skate with my friends and, you know, Rio is our country. That's what skateboarding is about. I want to skate my friends there and I can't wait for it. Amazing. Give it up, everyone, for your champion, Raissa Leal. our a shock reach your peak moment of course it's Raisa Leal today's winner 8.1 final trick to make it to the super super final that gap back lip slide and then in the super final the backside tail slide down the 12 stair hubba done to perfection that's Raisa Leal reaching her peak congratulations absolutely amazing Take a look at our current season standings after two stops now. Raisa Leal with back-to-back -back wins, a clean 200 points on the road to the Super Crown. Pamela Rosa in a good spot in second. Yumika Oda and Momiji Nishia, those are the top four skaters. They are right now in that Super Crown final, but not if those skaters in fifth or 10th have anything to say about it. So what an amazing day of skating it's been so far here in Seattle. Congrats to Ria Raisa Leal for winning here two in a row. And we'll be back with a men's final preview in a minute.